Welcome to Mr. Kutzinger's video lesson based on the application of the classification of triangles. We are given a triangle T U V W and we are also given the angle sizes we need to solve the value of x, y, and z. And then, based on that, classify these one big triangle and two smaller triangles. The easiest place to start with is this big triangle. Because we see we have an angle side size of 2x as well as the angle size of x plus 15 degrees here we have 2x minus 10 degrees and here we have 15 degrees we know that the sum of the angles of the triangle needs to add up to 180 degrees so we in fact that will have just one variable and constant so we can come up with an equation that we can solve so we have to add up all these angles, so we have here 2x plus x plus 15 degrees for the first angle. We still have to add the, the second angle which is 2x minus 10 degrees. And then we have to add the third angle, which is 50 degrees. And all of that needs to add up to 180 degrees. So we can simplify on the left-hand side. We have two baboons plus another baboon, so it's three baboons. Plus another two baboons, it's five baboons. So we can say it is 5x instead of the baboons. Then we add the constants. We have 15 degrees minus 10, which gives us 5 degrees plus 5. So that plus 50, or this is plus 55 degrees equals 180 degrees. So now we can do a bit of swimming. The 55 degrees cross the, the river, it comes from dry to off its way and through. It's not dry anymore, it's now wet, so the sign changed. So we have 5x equals 180 degrees minus 55 degrees. Okay, so 80 minus 50 is 50, but we still have to subtract another 5, so it's 25, 125 degrees. But our strategy is we only want x, we don't have 1, 5 x. The coefficient in front of the variable means we are multiplying. To get rid, we need to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide. Then the 5 will cancel, the opposite of or what we do rather on the one side we will have to do on the other side so we also have to divide by 5 so we simply have x and 125 divided by 5 5 goes into 12, 2 we have a remainder of 2, 5 goes into 25, 5 so it is x equals 25 degrees and we need to remember we need to write our reason in brackets which is sum of angles of triangle T U W triangle T U W equals 180 degrees and so now we can use the fact that x equals 25 degrees to get the angle sizes. So we have 2 times 25 
which gives us 50 degrees. Contact this angle is 50 degrees. And we have x, which is now 25 plus 15, is 40 degrees. So we know that angle is 40 degrees. 2 times x, so it's 2 times 25, is 50 minus 10, is 40 degrees. And then we still need to determine z, but that's not too difficult because we know for the smaller triangle T U V, the sum of the angles should add up to 180. So we have 40 plus 50 degrees is 90 degrees. 90 plus what gives 180? Yes, 90 degrees. So Z is in fact 90 degrees. It's a right angle. Okay, now that we have Z of 90 degrees, we can easily get Y. There are at least two ways of doing this. We can say the sum of the angles on a straight line adds up to 180. So Z plus Y equals 180 degrees. So if Z is 90 degrees, what is Y? Yes, 90 degrees. 90 plus 90 is 180. Okay. We also could say Y equals 40 plus 50 degrees, which again is 90. What would our reason be? Exterior angles of triangle TUV. Because the sum of the exterior angle E or rather the exterior angle equals the sum of the opposite interior angles. So at least two ways that you can get the answer. Remember to always write your in brackets when you are busy with geometry. Okay, so now we have all the angle sizes. So the next step is we can classify these triangles. Let's see. We have for the large and triangle, triangle T U W 50 plus 40, so this whole angle is 90 degrees, 40 degrees and 50 degrees. So all the angles are different sizes, but one is 90 degrees, 50 plus 40. So it is a right angle triangle, but because all the angles are different sizes, we also know all these lengths are different sizes. Different side lengths, so therefore it is a scale line triangle. Let's look at the small triangle.